So I've been wanting to build a boat for a long time now, and I made this one, I don't know, five, six years ago, and to be honest, it's a bit rubbish, but I like it. Um, I like the colours and stuff, so I've kept that here just to remind me of some ideas I have. So I printed this from the internet and just stuck it together. Traced onto this piece of oak. I'm using oak because that's the only big bits I've got. Finally, I've cut both of the pieces of oak. Right, so I've printed out my template, so I have a smaller one, a medium, and the actual size. So stupidly I didn't think about cutting this one slightly smaller, so we're going to use the medium size template to recut this. This is called a bread and butter construction, because essentially you've got the bread, which is the wood, and a butter which will be the glue. It's a commonly used construction method for making model boats. Although it's a bit of a pain to be honest because as you can see how much material I now have to remove using a sander, which is there. Although I'm gonna plane a lot of it with the block plane, which I know is not technically the right plane, but you have to make do with what you have. So this is the cutout I'm going with. So what we need to do is drill four 10 mil holes in each corner so that the drill has space, sorry, the jigsaw has space to lift up so it's basically got release points. Um, yeah, let's hope I measured this right. I've loosely based off of that. If we look, it's nowhere near the same but it's loosely based around it. I drilled four holes into the piece of wood and then used my jigsaw to cut out the section from the stern. I really recommend this jigsaw because it cuts so well and it's really easy to use. If you want to have a look at it, I'll leave a link in the description to where I purchased it from. Success! We have cut out the boat. So I didn't cut it perfectly, I've just realised because now the bow's got way extra here, but oh well. So we're just going to have to work on that. I'm going to be using Gorilla waterproof glue for this. I've got a load of bottles of it now so I can absolutely smother it in glue. I use my finger for glue, I know a lot of people don't, but to be honest, I'm not too fussed about using my finger for glue, as long as it's washed afterwards, it's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to plonk this on here, that should do it. And also I know I'm going to get loads of glue squeeze out, so I'm not too fussed about that. I then moved on to clamping the whole of the boat up. This was easier said than done. As you can see, I did make a little mistake where I'd put some glue into the stern and forgot to wipe it away before clamping it all up. This wasn't too much of a problem as I was painting over it anyway. Right, let's take all of the clamps off. I then removed all of the F-style clamps which I had previously used to clamp it up. So with all the clamps off, we need to try and plane this. I then moved on to planing the whole of the sides of the boat using my block plane. This took a very long time and was the hardest part of this whole project, purely because of the shape of the boat and I really wanted to get the contours correct so it looked realistic. We're actually going to redo the front, so this is going to come in a bit sharper there. Exciting news, we've done a quick floaty the boaty test. Um, it does work, it, surprisingly. I then used my Axminster belt sander to tidy up all of the edges. This was to make it really smooth so when I painted it, it looked even more realistic. I then used a combination of my jigsaw and a handsaw to cut the front of the boat up. This was because I wasn't happy with how it looked as trying to block plane this and then sand it just wouldn't have worked very well. So instead I decided to sand it using my Axminster sander again and cut it up so that I could get a really nice finish to the front of the boat as well as the stern. This was another hard part of this project, as trying to get it all symmetrical on both sides was really challenging. So I thought I'd show you the progress I made on the boat. So I cut this from a piece of scrap, so essentially this is just the cabin part. You can do this to whatever dimensions you want, but if we look at my drawing, it's just sitting at the back there. I've used these off cuts, they're almost perfectly equal. They're a bit rough, but they'll be fine. And I'm going to be painting this, as you can tell black, red, white. Oh, and I also added this strip around here because the water was sitting about there. It's very high because as you can tell, this is a very heavy boat. I mean, I suspect it's three or four kilograms. And then I'm making another boat. And this is my more recommended style of making the boat. So you do two, basically, 
empty cases and then you add a bottom panel to it so this isn't my boat this is actually my brother's one I did the cutting for him but he's gonna be um, adding sails and bits and bobs to it you can either do a boat like that but obviously there's no curvature to the side whereas this one's got curvature to the side we're not gonna bother curving that because it's just too much effort on a small boat whereas this one I really wanted the curvature which was hard work but it looks good and in the back is probably still the same as you last saw um, I've just decided I'm gonna leave it like that I then moved on to designing a cab section I had some leftover bits of oak and some sapili so I ended up using both of those here you can see me marking out all of the shapes and sizes that I need I then used my coping saw and my jigsaw to cut out these sections originally I didn't want to use my coping saw but that was all I could find until I actually realized I could have just cut it with a jigsaw I then glued the window section onto the roof using some Gorilla Glue and some tiny little G-clamps. I tried a different style of filming here, so I'm really interested to know what you guys think. If you think I should continue trying different angles and things, let me know. If you like the old way of filming, let me know that as well, please. I then left this to dry for about 24 hours before moving on to the next section of the project. Alright, so I'm going to be painting a boat now. I'm going to time-lapse this because this is going to take a long time. I've got some acrylic paint. I've got white black and the main colour which is this beautiful crimson red. I've got these tiny tiny brushes which I'm going to be using to paint. I then used some of the black paint to paint the bottom of the hole. This took a long time but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I applied about two to three coats here. I think I only showed myself doing one though. I then used some masking tape around it to achieve a really really nice line. Obviously you don't want it to be jagged because otherwise that wouldn't look very professional. After I'd done that, I masked off the bit underneath as well, so that I could paint the white line there as well. Painting the boat was definitely one of the most rewarding aspects of this project, as previously, it just looked like a floating wooden block. However, the paint truly brought my plan of a boat to life. The oak was very easy to paint onto, and still allowed a subtle amount of wood grain to show through, which I thought was very nice, and showed the material it was made from. I'm by no means an artist, but I did find this process to be very relaxable and enjoyable. I put on some YouTube in the background and spent about three hours painting. The main reason it took so long was because I had to wait for each layer to dry, which took about 10 minutes, and then I had to mask it with masking tape, which was also a fairly slow process. If you're interested in seeing more projects like this, let me know. I for one had a huge amount of fun with this boat, especially testing it. The video next week will show the testing, as there was far too much footage to fit into one video. I wanted to really show the boat from many angles, so I used my GoPro Hero session to achieve some awesome underwater photos, and photos that made the boat look hugely realistic. I ended up painting the whole black, and added a white line to divide the sections of the boat. The main section was painted a beautiful crimson, and the maple rim was painted white, inside and out. I then painted the flat section of the bow in the crimson red, and painted the stern cutout section black. I painted one post black and one white to decide which one I preferred. I opted for black to contrast with the roof. I ended up changing the colour of the roof rim section to be white rather than black as otherwise the boat ended up looking too dark. I really loved making this project and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment them below. Thanks for watching. The testing video will be out next week.